This letter comes from the Bartholomew Family Letters Archival Collection. It was written in the San Francisco area and sent to someone in Iowa. The author of this letter, Ada, had the opportunity to see President McKinley three times while he was in the San Francisco area in May of 1901. The first time was at the San Francisco Bay for the maiden voyage of the USS Ohio, the second at a reception held by the Knights, and the third at the Presidio, which is a national park, while the president was talking to troops. She was fortunate to have such an opportunity, and she seemed to really enjoy the experience. One area of rhetorical worth is on page 5, where Ada describes the maiden voyage of the USS Ohio. The main purpose of page 5 is to illustrate the importance of the Ohio to Ada since she experienced it firsthand, her friend she is writing to, since Ada does not go into any detail about the ship, we can assume she already found the ship important, and also the USA, since it is a breakthrough in warship technology. As Ada describes the event, she mentions how many boats were waiting in the bay to greet the Ohio. Hundreds, or I guess thousands, she says. Hundreds of boats is quite a bit, but thousands is even more. By saying thousands after hundreds, she sounds like a salesperson shouting, but wait, there's more. Not only are there hundreds of boats, but there are thousands. One thousand sounds a whole lot bigger when a smaller number, one hundred in this case, is placed next to it. The importance of the Ohio is tied directly to the large number of boats, as large turnouts usually don't happen with something unimpressive. So in effect, Ada's technique comments on the importance of the Ohio to her, her friend, and the country. People today would more or less do the same things Ada did to convey the importance of the USS Ohio. As I said before, salespeople use the, but wait, there's more, technique. But in reality, most of us use this technique in storytelling to make our stories sound better.